In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the Protractor tool. The Protractor tool belongs to the Construction toolbar and can be found um, under View Toolbars uh, Construction if that toolbar is not already turned on. So what we're going to do first is we're going to again draw our classic rectangle. So I'm going to draw out a nice big rectangle. Let's type in an exact dimension this time for example. Let's type in um, 14,000 comma by 8,000. Enter. Alright, so we've got a nice rectangular shape. Then with the push-pull tool we're going to type uh, pull this up and type in um, 2000. Now we're going to learn how to use the Protractor tool. So click on the Protractor tool and we can go and touch different surfaces and you can see it finds those different planes. Uh, very similar to the um, Rotate tool tip on how to set the plane, um, we can hold Shift on a plane and it will lock it in place, um, release the shift key and then you can find other planes, hold shift and you can lock them. So let go, hold shift on the plane and it locks it. So what I want to do is first um, do a couple of construction lines using the protractor tool on this end of the building. So hold shift on the red plane, click on the corner to set it in place which also sets the plane, locks the plane. Let go of shift, don't need it anymore. Then we can click on the base of it, our starting point, and then we can move our angle upwards. And you can see in the measurement um, dialog here, it's telling us what the angle is. So we could type in 25 enter, and this could be the, the pitch of our roof, for example. If we find the plane again, hold shift, touch the other end point, click, and then we can come along the base again, which is our starting point for our angle, move it upwards and again we could type in 25 and enter. So we now have two construction guidelines um, that we can use to trace over top of for our roof. Okay let's go down to the other end and I'm just going to show you the other method of um, using the protractor tool and how to find the planes. Um, so before we were holding shift once we found the plane, but this method is quite good because you don't necessarily have to try and find the plane um, you can choose it yourself. So if I put it on this endpoint here, and um, you can see it's flicking between the three planes, if I left click and hold and don't let go, I can then choose the direction I want that protractor to go and to lock. So as you can see, I want to I want to put another couple of um, 25 degree lines on this end. So to do that, I would be choosing the red plane. Once I've found that plane, release your mouse button and that's set it in place. So click on the baseline, move that up and type 25, enter, then come to the other side and left click again and hold, don't let go, go back along the edge until you find the red plane, release, then click to begin at your start angle and bring it up and type 25 and enter. Then what we can do is trace over top of our guidelines. So with the line tool we're just going to click up here, go to the intersection, intersecting point and then back down to the other side. Same again on the other side, go up to the intersection and then we can draw a line along the top for the ridge and we've now created our roof.